I just want to make a quick video and say take nothing in life for granted. Everything that comes to you that is positive and that is feeding you and nurturing you and that is offering you love and friendship and loyalty and protection, all of this is a present from the infinite cosmos. Don't ever take that for granted. And if you meet someone kind, don't bully that person. Don't reject that person. Don't think that person is weak. Okay, if you meet someone kind, appreciate that kindness and and be grateful for that and stick to that person. Stick to the the people that are kind. Okay. For example, if I whenever I changed schools or went to university or wherever I arrived new in a place where there were, were a lot of people or there's a specific classroom was was very specific people that I see every day in there. Okay. The first thing that happens is when I come into a group of people at university in one semester there were I don't know maybe a hundred people okay and I see these people you know in the different seminars and classes and so on and I see right away there are I see right away the majority of the people are like they're they're very afraid of public opinion they're very afraid to be shunned there so they will do anything for approval okay. and it's those people that will click together with the majority of people like 80 percent or something and then sometimes there are some other subgroups and side groups that will click together and particularly what I noticed is that people of the same ethnicity are immediately seeking each other out and sticking together. I guess that's some sort of, it gives them a sense of security or something and they feel otherwise they feel insecure or they feel overpowered. So they'll immediately seek that person off. Like two Middle Eastern women will immediately find each other and stick together. Or, I don't know. Those are, that's what I observe there. And and it's uh, like with women groups, like women's circles, you know. I see. So women that don't feel so safe among men, they will stick together. And I stand there completely alone. I sit down alone. I stand there alone. I talk alone. I speak up alone. I petition against smoking at the university alone. I get hate. I stand there all alone. And I accept that people hate me for that. Yeah. But I know I'm doing the right thing. Okay. So obviously that obviously most people are too afraid to they're too afraid to even go just the slightest bit out of that range that that is supported by most people. A very narrow range of certain behavior, certain way of talking, certain way of dressing. So that, that is a very fascist range. Okay? And most people are very afraid to step out in any way. Okay. There was one guy, he liked me, but he could not be seen with me publicly because I was an outsider. So if he, was, if he would be seen with me by others, that would be too dangerous for him. The others might reject him for it. 
happened several times. So it's these kind of things that I see, you know, and that's the same thing I see wherever I go. It doesn't matter where it is. It could be at the equator, it could be in Germany, it could be in the United States, it doesn't matter. Okay, It's always the same pattern in, in group behavior, group dynamics, group interaction, fear, peer pressure, fear, and, and all of this. I see it all over and over and over again. And these people are not conscious about anything. And out of the unconsciousness, they'll just perpetuate this. If they were at least conscious about it, then they could look within themselves and maybe meditate on it, intermittently at least. At least become conscious about it, even if they don't change their behavior. The least I'm asking from people is become conscious about it, become consciously aware. And don't say shut up, because I'm not going to shut up ever, okay, never. I was just censored in a chat room. I stood alone against everyone else. I said yes to Donald Trump, and they kicked me out of the chat room, okay. So now, because that's happening, I, that, those kind of things, when I see these kind of things, make me, like Donald Trump, like a million times more. Because now I see why are these people so afraid? Why are they so, they're not afraid of Donald Trump. They're afraid to be shunned by their society. Okay, They're just afraid that their peer groups could turn against them. and Or the girls wouldn't like them anymore, or whatever it is. So the corporate agenda is afraid of Donald Trump, okay? And they put this out there into the world. They make people afraid to be supporting Donald Trump because they are afraid. The corporate agenda, the, 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 the corporations are afraid of Donald Trump. They are afraid that he will go green okay, against the platform. So far, he can't go against the platform. If he does, then they will oust him very, very fast. They will find a way. They will find and they will they will send him a per a Monica Lewinsky. They, they that's what they did to Bill Clinton. Okay, but no one ever questioned these things. No one. They every man out there in the world would go for Monica Lewinsky, right? But Bill Clinton does it, it's the end of the world suddenly, you know. What a double standard is that? But the corporate agenda knows all of this. They know that is how people are, okay? So they use it to the fullest extent. They send him that hooker. And uh, it was Boris Yeltsin who said that that was a paid hooker. Okay? It's specifically paid and sent over there to seduce Bill Clinton. Okay, and that's what it's what that's what it is. And later on, she felt kind of bad about it because she saw that, you know, it could have cost him the re-election, and it could have made everything worse. You know, the environment, everything. So because we had Bill Clinton for eight years, the environment recovered. The earth recovered. So, no, Donald Trump is the same thing, just like a hundred times stronger and better and, and and more knowledgeable and more intelligent. So, Donald Trump's IQ is like, a, it's like I don't know, 300 plus, maybe 800, maybe 900 plus. Okay. So, a massive IQ. Okay, a massive brain capacity to to deal and dodge with that kind of adversity that comes against him, the corporate agenda like sicking the public against him, and the the, the individual pawn doesn't understand anything. Okay, 
they'll censor, censor you if you go against their, that's their football team. That's all it is. It's not about anything. It's not about politics for them. It's like, that is our basketball team, and you're not allowed to like Donald Trump because that's the other basketball team. Uh, there's not more brain activity going on than that. Okay, And that is what I find so extremely annoying. Okay, That is so unbelievably annoying. And I'm glad I have this opportunity to vent here with this video because my goodness, jeez, you know, look into yourselves, you know, Question these things. Question your basketball teams or your political parties and their agenda. Question this. Where, where's this agenda coming from? Is this coming from Exxon Mobil? Yeah, maybe. Or the logging industry, the oil industry that are terrified, that are shitting in their pants because they're afraid that Donald Trump is going to put a stop to their exploitation. So... Just some food for thought. Take care. Peace out.